In the past, people consider me to be a hard-working student, or as they were on schoolwork, or in another world, a nerd. But actually, I had a dream. I like dancing, or to be more specific, a bitch dance. But that they're not in other people, cause could you imagine that if a little boy told his mom, Mommy, I wanna dance. Oh, that's great, I can find your dance tutor. But what kind of dance? Like Britney Spears and Jolene Tai Do. Go, go sister, go, go brother, like this. And his mom, oh my boy, tell me the truth. Did you see too many Thailand movie recently? Or you wanna do sex change surgery and like Jolene Tai have a G cup? Oh gosh. Then, this anxious mom would bring her little boy to a psychiatrist directly. So, I decided to become a bathroom dancer. While I was taking a bath, I imagined that I was standing on the stage of Broadway, the shower head was my microphone, and my reflection in the mirror was always my biggest loyal fan. He had no choice, by the way, yeah? But dancing in the bathroom was very dangerous. I mean, for example, if I do the sex move like this, and I always oh, hit something, <laughs> it was not only dangerous, but fatal. One day, I danced too excitedly like I did a whirl on the wet and smooth floor. La la, oh la, la. <laughs> Then my mom asked, so what's happening inside? Nothing, the shower head fell. <laughs> yeah, that was horrible. But I still enjoy my personal showtime in the bathroom. However, the obstacle came when my dad saw the utility bill. While the weather bill is getting higher and higher these days, oops, I got a lesson. Besides endangering your life, being a bathroom dancer was also expensive. <laughs> Fortunately, in college, there are plenty of choices to be on the stage, and I try many kinds of dances. Korean pop, waking, and of course, vlogging. I spare no efforts to try to practice this move better and be sexier than be on set. <laughs> it is better in the bathroom too much, right? I can stand on real stage, dry floor, and of course more than one viewer. Yeah, when it's time being on stage, I enjoy seducing the audience, strutting my stuff, and shit things crazily to the group. Wow, I could never forget that feeling. It's the passion and energy in my life. However, there was always a nightmare in the chat who bothered me. You can hear that my voice is kinda sissy. Okay, I know you are thinking like you are not kind of a totally a super sissy. Okay, fine, I accept that. So when people hear my voice, they may always <gasps> or giggle at me. So one day lot when I went by my brother in the basketball court, I shouted, Brother, it's time for home. His friend just <gasps> first and said, Hey dude, what happened to your brother's voice? <gasps> and my brother even added fuel to a fire saying, I have the same question as you since he can talk. <gasps> My lovely brother, I know they didn't mean to hurt me, but such situations did bother me a lot and happened. Gradually, I was getting afraid of showing the real me. When meeting new people, I may, hi, I'm Kenny Chan, nice to meet you. <laughs> and when people ask about my habits, I, I like basketball and do heavy wings. You know that German plays very well. I want to be tough like him. Yeah, I hate you, right? <laughs> Should I keep pretending to be another guy instead of showing the real me, doing what I really like? I feel like an outsider to all this world. But dream is natural. Dream is necessary. Dream is not only the source of passion, but even brings hope and courage to our life. If the reality seems against us, then why don't we just repair and redefine the reality? I mean, who knows that a boy playing Barbie dolls all day long could become today's Jason Wu, a shining, promising designer in the fashion industry? I finally can stand on real stage from my tiny, wet, and dangerous bathroom. 
I don't want to stop my dream to battle the top, to be myself, and bitch on stage to seduce the audience. Hi, big boy. <laughs> I figure out that there's always a bitch in our heart. And if you and you and of course you have a little sweet bitch in your heart as well. That little sweet bitch motivates you to pursue your goal, your passion, your life. But we always prison her deep in our heart while she was craving. Please, please let me explore on the primitive desire you want to pursue. So just unleash her and follow your heart boldly. If you don't keep that bitch down or prison her, she'll definitely lead you from the bathroom to your own right stage. Come, come test share.